practices. I hope the vote will take place in the best conditions possible and that there are no incidents and that whatever the results of these elections, that there is calm. The Congolese people don't want chaos anymore. Whoever the winner is, the most important thing is that the elections go well. Well, joining us now from Washington, D.C. is Tilama Miyabi. He is a political analyst and executive director of the National Congress for Democracy. Good to have you on the program with us. First off, do you share concerns that this election will not be fair? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, I think it's uh, very safe to say that this election will be a masquerade. Uh, Sassoon Gesso has to be viewed as a as a tyrant, is a person who has been in power since 1979, and he basically rigged every single election. Uh, the last person who won the election, who basically was on the second round of the election, was the General Mokoko, is right now in jail. Uh, Parfait Kolila was also sequestrated at his home for a few, few days. And now, so this election, 2021, we know it's a masquerade. It's uh, basically... Uh, you cannot believe that a dictator will be able to organize free and fair elections. Right. And um, many people in the Republic of Congo have never even known another head of state. But what do you know about uh, some of the, um, the other candidates? Uh, do they have any popularity, even though it does seem all but certain that Ngeso will be elected again? Well, Ngeso will rig it the election again. That's what we say. We will say. We will not say he will win the election because, as I said, he has never won a single election in that country. However, um, the candidate, Parfait Kolila, who is currently uh, sick, uh, is actually one of the per person who could have been, if there was a fair election, could have won the, win, won the election. And I believe that uh, Parfait Kolila and General Mokoko were the two candidates that could have really been uh, elected as a, as in the presidency, Mr. Col Mr. Sasungesu basically had eight percent of the vote in 2016, and cur is currently the president. So uh, when you have uh, you you didn't do the census, the census were not, were not done. Uh, when you um, you have not put in place an independent commission that will basically regulate the election, how could you talk about free and fair elections? Mr. Sasungesu is a crook. Is a tyrant, is a dictator, and uh, I don't. I have not seen any single di dictator in the world who has organized free and fair elections. Mm. Congo, as we know, has been struggling during the pandemic. The country's debt to the International Monetary Fund is a burden on the economy, and more than 70 percent of the population is living on less than two dollars a day. What would another uh, Ngeso term look like? That's a very good question. Um, the Enero Sassungeso's term will be the same, the same thing again. He's, as I said, he's been in power since 1979. Uh, the country was it's an oil-producing country. Basically, from 2000 to 2010, the country had had surpluses in uh, due to the high price of oil, uh, and the country has basically received uh, from the IMF were into um, the PP, PP, uh, poor country program, where it received. Uh, a reduction of its debt in 2010 of five billion dollars, uh, but yet uh, what we have seen is a country that is mismanaged and that is currently has a debt that is in 2016 was 120 20 percent of its GDP. I think they reduced the debt um, to approximately to 100 percent of the GDP. So uh, look, he has half the money. Uh, the country has never received so much money during okay. the time of Mr. Sasungeso is in power, and the country has never, the people of Congo Brazzaville have never been this poor. Mm. So we don't believe that uh, a person who has mismanaged the country will do anything better for the next five years. All right, and we're going to leave it there for now. Taylor Mamiabi, thank you for your time.